Hello. I'm at Scrambery Coop at my playground and I want to show you something today. I'm always experiment with Dixie Bell paint. And this is an old silver tray. I didn't want to clean it, so I actually <laughs> repurpose it. So if you hear some noises on the background, we at Scrambery Coop, it's very busy today. We have our flea market. So I want to show you what you can do with Dixie Bell. This paint is amazing. I am in awe every time. So what I did, look at that. You can keep your jewelries here or anything. It's just repurposing, recycling. This is finished product. It's uh, sealed. And I just did that. I just painted it. I'm waiting to get to dry. It's a silver picture, and I'm gonna seal it now. And let's start with the, I had this piece, it's very cool. It's very cool, but it's a lot of work to clean it. So what I did, uh, and this is by experiment, the best way to start with this is to put, it's a, it's a sealer, it's called Boss, it's from Dixie Bell, and what it does, it blocks stains, odors, and bleed throughs. Because when I apply the paint directly on this, the paint bleed through. So, I put Boss, I waited to dry, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint it with this gorgeous color, with the cobalt blue. So brush, my new brush, I'm gonna, I put my name on it. It's always damp and I put my paint in a little plastic. I need very little paint for this project. Very little, you will see. And here it is. Here it is. So silver with this cobalt blue, it's incredible. And I always use water. Yeah, I want to show you for all that silver pieces that you don't know what to do with them. I just like to give them a new life, refresh them. And it takes you so little. It takes you to seal seal it wait to dry it doesn't take long I waited for 30 minutes to dry and then I'm just putting there are 60 colors to choose from so I was thinking what will be great for silver blue cobalt blue it's beautiful and then what I, I will do, I will show you in a second. Let me just finish this. This paint goes long way. So if you're in the area in New Jersey and you're close to the shop, come and talk to me and if you never pet, try it, come and I will get you in my little back room where I'm now and So you feel comfortable with the paint or come to one of our events i'm having next one next friday and i'm gonna show you the patina paint collection it's incredible you can uh, create metal finishes in no time and it's gonna look like a rustic old piece that stayed for 100 years outside and yes and it's sealed and it's clean so, you see how it, it took me a uh, like, couple of dabbing in this brush. So I'm gonna leave it to dry and I'm gonna do it again. So, and I'm gonna leave it like this. But, let's put the... Okay, 
can do the seam here so to to show that blue out coming out yes the fun stuff that you can do I did a video from Scramberry Coop today what's going on outside it's we open the season the flea market we have amazing dealers here all right I'm gonna set this aside and I've got another one that I'm gonna do in blue that that piece it's quite beautiful so I did the boss and I'm gonna do the the cobalt blue as well it's a very rich color okay so if you live somewhere else and you want to try Dixie Bell please use our affiliate links and I will guide you as well. There's a lot of information about Dixie Bell. Uh, if you're using online, I'm going to post here the link for our affiliate program. Or, that way it's to find a retailer near you that sells Dixie Bell. Because there you can buy it much cheaper you don't need to pay the cost price uh, yes so either the best way to come here if you live around if you don't live around find a nearby retailer or if you're gonna do it online please use our affiliate link Look at that. I need a different brush for these corners. So this is a very cheap brush and I cut it. I cut it with scissors so I create a better, a more firmer glass. Okay, so we are open at the moment and there's a lot of people are shopping here today. Uh, the place has been here for 30 years. And okay, I need to concentrate just to make that fine. That's what I'm doing, the angle. So cutting your brush like this is gonna take the edge very clean. We'll make it very clean. Okay. And while I'm painting this, this is gonna be dried already. It takes like 10 minutes. I, I normally take like a minimum of 30 minutes uh, to, to paint over it. it it's, I'm playing safe here with this. I will show you in a second that finish. I just want to take that edge. So look at that. Look at that beauty. So it's not usable for food, but it's a very cool piece to display something, to put your jewelry, to put your keys next to the door. You can use it for so many different projects, decoration or, or a practical things. Look at that, I love that. The silver and that deep blue, yes. So, this is from me. These are the pieces that I'm creating. I'm gonna upload them on. I've created a YouTube channel when I'm putting all my videos that I create upcycle. 
that's a picture that I'm gonna finish with let's move this aside while it's drying and I've got more projects here this this little room it's filled with little project for me to do and so what I do with this with the gate height it's a sealer that seals it thank you thank you Claudia so I use a sponge and it's dry and I just go over it to seal it and I will do probably twice of this sealer so you can create a anything that you need a little refreshment uh, so many colors to choose from oh this is the paint it's not right here I remember I had to touch up so I probably will wait a little bit but this is how I do it with the sponge it's smooth and the gate height it's really a gate height it seals it so well but my paint didn't dry well and I've got little blue I'm gonna wait I can just dab it like this to create a little uh, texture I can do this with the paint if I dab it with the paint will create texture I'm gonna try it I'm always experimenting and I'm gonna try it with with a sponge and with the sealer create a little uh, texture look at that I love it and a lot of pieces like this that have been for a long time outside they are becoming darker and I don't feel too clean this silver plated but I like to leave the little a little piece of silver plated look at that so as you this creates a very nice finish i don't know if it's gonna dry like this i'm experimenting so this is these are dixie bell products that um, we are selling at scramble Coop, and probably most probably you've seen me painting here and people joke with me that I'm gonna paint them if they stay too long time around me still yes probably I will okay look at that let's see I'm experimenting I'm gonna let you know I most probably will repeat this. I will wait and do it next week. Look at that. Look at that finish. How cool it is. So using that paint on a metal, you don't even need to clean it. You just need to put... boss this is um, this is a sealer that you seal it and then I apply actually this color I'm gonna show you this color it's a combination between these two color sea glass and pure ocean and in this color I did our fridge at the shop. It was a white, boring white fridge that did not fit in antique shop. So I did the sealer and I did this pure ocean and it looks incredible. Was it pure ocean? Something similar. There's so many colors. I'm, I'm, I get confused a little bit, but it's okay. So this is, I'm gonna leave it like this. And I'm gonna do another seal on this and I'm gonna seal even the silver and I'm gonna try so if I seal the silver this it might not get dark 
but I shall see. I'm not sure. And how we know by experience, we learn best by experience. Okay. So I'm sealing it again. And this is gonna be even easier because it's already done one time, it's smooth. And all I do is just, and I'm sealing as well. I'm doing the silver part. I'm sealing it so I hope it's not gonna get dark again. But let's see. All right, you see, I absolutely love this tray. Hey, love. Love, Katrina, thank you. Thank you for your beautiful support, all of you. You are inspiring me to do more and more videos. So what I'm gonna do with this tray, I'm gonna use it for my silver jewelry. So it's gonna look awesome. And I'm gonna set it up and put some jewelries and take some pretty pictures. Or I can put some chocolates that are covered. I will not use food directly on this. Maybe you can, maybe you can, but I will not. So that's the look, silver and a color. And let me show you this one just painted. This is this color. Look at that. I don't even need to clean that part because it kind of gives a nice rustic finish. I'm gonna paint this again. Okay, the noise is from the shop. I'm coming. People are shopping here. Yes. Okay. My brush, my cool new brush. Look at that. I'm not going in there with that dog there. Where is the dog? The, the dog is in the bathroom? Okay, give me one second. What's happening? Joey, come here. Who is afraid of Joey? Oh, Joey, come here. Okay. Okay, this is Joey. Joey, he was on the way. So everything is fine. So look at that. Jean, hugs to you, honey. All right. Let's see. Okay. I'm repeating this color. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love this. Blue. But I need more water. And you know what I did? Okay. I want to try something else here after I finish this project while I'm on this color I can paint something else because I still have a lot I just I just put look at that I just put a little scoop of this and I like to do in one color quite a few projects I so I don't need to start it again and wash brushes so I will see what I can paint in this color it's quite a beautiful color and that's it two coats of the paint and then I'm gonna seal it and here you go. I can decide to paint this as well, the bottom blue. Shall I paint the bottom blue? I don't know. Maybe not. I'm gonna just leave it silver and the edge is showing. See? Yes. That's a more control brush here. I'm just gonna do like this. And here we are. We're ready. 
dry and seal and ready to use. So it's gonna be a fun collection with all this silver, silver plated pieces. Okay, what shall I paint? I have here other project that have been waiting for me. It's the cement collection. Maybe I paint the dragonfly and then I'm gonna use other okay this is too big brush so what I discover that you can use your makeup brushes and look at that adorable collection mermaid brushes and they're very soft so I'm gonna use this mermaid love the and use the same color so I have a few projects and this is and you can dilute it with water it goes long way yeah yeah Jean it's a gorgeous color so I'm gonna do this kind of with shades but I'm gonna start with the darker part up Look at that. I hope I can inspire you to get creative we are all creative and uh, we need a little inspiration sometimes and it's nothing serious you can start from anything if you can hold the brush you are creative because creation has many different expressions whatever you feel drawn to whatever you like just gonna dilute this Put more water so it creates little shades. Can you see from there? Yes. And I cannot make mistakes anymore because nothing gets mistake. It's okay. Let's paint the whole one and then I can layer on top of it different colors. Yes, Jean, your presence too. What we like about other people. It's what we are actually. We're projecting that part of us. But thank you, sweetheart, for your beautiful words and for okay let's see this one look at that oh i love this so i i will layer as this dries i'm gonna come with different colors and bluish and and greenish color and then go with something else or just leave the rest white i don't know i never know what i'm gonna do whatever comes spontaneous so you see this i didn't take much of this paint so i'm gonna see what else can i paint what is here in my studio that i can paint that i can use this blue cobalt color let's see let's give me a second what projects i have here on the table okay I start a lot of projects, so, okay, that will be interesting, okay, so these are old, old pants, you see, old pants, uh, once upon I started to paint them in gray, and just left them, they're old pants, I don't want to throw them out, I'm going to create a little rock with paints, and paint them, 
and put some words. Yeah, and put some words. So let's bring some color. This was a kind of a boring gray color that I was thinking one thing, but now I'm thinking something very different here and more rich and colorful. So the whole thing is gonna be hang and use for the kitchen as a decoration with words. And I have a couple of other pens that they've been painted. And what I do, I can just spread directly and it goes really easy and really messy. Messy, messy, messy. But life, it's a mess. And it's, sometimes it's so nice to mess things around. Actually, it's very nice to mess. And then clean it up. We mess it and then we clean it up. So I'm having here a couple of different brushes going on. Yeah, that's a, a old pen that I am upcycling, upcycling stuff. Um, I'm thinking to put a words and hang them. All right. And that is easy to hold. This paint dries so fast. Okay, I need to use some more water. I'm just spraying my brush. Here it is. see creative mess yes we are actually we are beautiful creative mess all of us in process okay so back I'm gonna I'm just doing this because I don't wanna I have a, a very crazy practical side within me. I don't want to waste a pen. Like, I don't want to waste a second not to have fun. I don't want to waste in boring stuff. So the same goes with the pen. I don't want to waste pen. pen. So I'm keep painting whatever it's around me. And these are my most creative things they happen. I never planned them, so I never planned to paint this blue. But look at it. I'm gonna leave it here. Come back, look at that. This is almost drying, look at this. This is such a gorgeous piece. What would you use this for? Many things. Yes, so this is okay look i just want to check on it there's some drips on from the ceiling it's almost drying but it's gonna be a beautiful piece i'm gonna seal it again as it dries and here you have a picture that you can even use because it's not painted the inside, but you can use it and it's fun and it's colorful. Yes, that's from me, from today. I'm gonna be back when I feel like and you have a... What day do you wanna have? Just make a wish, may I have? A fabulous fantastic peaceful whatever you wish make a wish for your day and whatever you say 
that shall be because your word, whatever you say, this is what you create. I love you guys. Thank you.